Keep watching Charis TV. From today, uh, you people here, please, when you come to Charis, seek God. Here, we don't look at your certificate, your what, we don't even look at that. I've got many people here. Sometimes when I take people on the other side, I get, get disappointed. And the disappointment is coming from someone who didn't go to school. I'm telling you, this is a serious, serious problem. If you want to know that our people have got problems, it's when you've got little knowledge. When the Bible says people are perishing because of what? Lack of knowledge. This thing is very serious. You find someone, you know, I call people here and say, come and give. Here. Yeah. You find professors, doctors are coming, and yourself, you, do, you are not even working. And you are sitting down there, you are talking. This man is eating our money. <laughs> From which pocket? You have never worked. You are, you are increasing case to case. <laughs> what I'm saying is true, isn't it? How can you people criticize pastors? How can you do that? You criticize pastors you don't know. You find someone say, pastor love money. Pastor, pastor, pastor love money. From the beginning, you cannot see a prophet without money. It's not true. Huh? When you go to a prophet, you must be having money. From the beginning. How can you just come here like this, like this? Your, hands, your fingers are pointing all direction. And it, from there you come to church and say, you see this pastor. You see the car is, the car is driving. You see, the car is driving. You are kissing yourself. You are kissing yourself. You don't know we left the job. You, do you know the suffering we went through? You don't know we left the job that we're doing. That now, you just come with your finger pointing all direction, and then you come and say, this pastor is doing one, two, three. You, you don't know we left jobs. I'm just speaking with someone who think we are doing ministry for money. We, we have been in the ministry when money is not there. Don't, don't, don't curse pastors. You don't know what is happening with them. You don't even understand. It's, you, it's better you keep silent. You keep quiet. Because pastors, you, when they are called, they left. I'm talking about Prophet Emmanuel there. He left the job. I know pastors who left the job, they are here. And say, okay, they, God said they must focus in their ministry. They left everything. No support. No what? When they start to rise up, you start to watch them on TV. Because you cannot, you cannot have a revelation. You can't descend. Because if you descend, God was supposed to have told you before they go to TV. Now when you see them on TV now, you begin to say, yeah, are these pastors? Look at the jacket he's wearing. Look at the jacket he's wearing. Look at the mic he's holding. Why don't you go and buy your mic and leave pastor? Go and buy your own mic and leave pastor. Try to do what he's doing and see if, if it's possible. I'm just reprimanding someone here. Uh, if, if I'm reprimanding, say amen. amen. If I'm reprimanding, say amen. amen. Clip hands for yourself. Uh.